Hey, what's up, guys? Dr. Cloud here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, we faced another gym, we got another badge, and we took on New Mauville and got a few more encounters. So if you're curious about that, then you can check the description down below, and I'll have the playlist down there for you to look back and enjoy. But to start off today, we're going to do a team recap, because we added a few more from that last episode. So, to start off, we have Surya, the Cumbuskin, with Ember, Double Kick, Peck, and Bulk Up. Then we have Fat, the Dugong, with Aurora Beam, Headbutt, Surf, and Recycle. Then we have Nancy, the Vigoroth, with Strength, Poison Tail, Arm Thrust, and Cut. Then we got Tamrat, the Jolteon, with Quick Attack, Revenge, Helping Hand, and Ice Ball. Then we have one of our newer members, Bjorn the Noctowl, with Hyper Voice, Peck, Hypnosis, and Reflect. And finally we have Cast the Gloom with Acid, Stun Spore, Sleep Powder, and Psychic. Now, we can start off this episode with something a little bit fun. I went ahead and looked at uh, Gloom's level moveset, and the only move that I really want to learn is Paddle Dance, and it gets it the same way either way if I have all it now. So, let's start this episode off with an evolution. Hmm. If I'm saying, like, a good portion of this playthrough that I won a Vile Plume, finally got one. I'm so excited. Probably should give it a miracle. Well, there's no reason for me to give it a miracle. So it doesn't have a, a uh, oh my gosh, it doesn't have a grass type move. Jeez, that took me way too long. Okay, don't need a moonstone. Don't need the swipe flute, and I don't need the miracle seed yet. Uh, I do kind of want to see if I have any good items in here that might help me. Um, mm, not really. I'm gonna take out the bright powder. All right. So today we'll be making our way to Fortree City. Which means we're probably going to get to the Weather Institute and maybe do the rival battle. But that's all dependent on, honestly, how long it takes me to get there. Alright. Now I'm also probably just going to switch train because I think that's going to be easier for me. Go ahead and ride our way over here. Sorry, I forgot one thing. I've revived my bag that I really want to sell. Okay, we're good. I'm good on Pokeballs, so I'm fine. And I feel like in Fortree I'm able to buy Ultra Balls, but I could be wrong and I could have already been able to buy them. I don't know. Okay, I already got my encounter here, so I can't get one now. Let's just go right into battling. Cool. And I get a little bit higher mod. Just hold on a second. I want one of them to be backed up by... Surya, because I still want Surya to evolve really bad. Oh, that's interesting. I feel like pouring into a Psybeam. 
but I'm not sure. Mm. Wow. I always forget how bulky Porygon 2 is. That's crazy. That's just kind of annoying. I mean, if it's just going to do that, then I'll just focus on Mask Rain. Dang, that's not even going to take out. Mm, Mask Rain has a gust. I did not think about that. That is not that scary. Alright, come on, confuse. Nope, okay. Um... Mm, still got to move off. Oh, it does have side beam. That's cool. I need you to go to sleep, Porygon. Okay then. Let's just heal up Surya, because I still... I really don't want to lose the Blaziken before I have the Blaziken. I'll try to use Agility, of course it's faster than me. Can I crit? No, but I high rolled damage, so that works. Here, I'll also have Cash do a little bit of backup. Just in case I low roll this. Cool. Not well. And it would probably be good for me to have like an EXP share. I really don't want to do an interview. I don't like people prying into my business. Hmm. I give that to Noctowl. For some reason, the fact that poison was super effective completely spaced my mind. That's a no. Like, I'm gonna let her stay out here, but. Definitely not. You're low to. Typhlosion, jeez. Wow, that smoke screen is actually pretty effective. That really is pretty fat, though. I think she's my first one to have over a hundred. Dang. I don't think it'll take too long to level up the other two since they were 25 when I caught them. And... oh. Hello, Doc. It's me, Steven, when we met in the cave near Duford. Have you met many kinds of Pokemon since I last saw you? There are many, many kinds of Pokemon in this wide world of ours. If you wanted to raise only your favorites, that's fine. Perhaps you find it more fun to raise all sorts of Pokemon. As a Pokemon, as a Pokemon trainer, what do you think? 
Of course, it may not be any of my business. It would be nice if we were to meet in again somewhere. It feels very unnecessary. Are these what I'm looking for? Citrus berries. Yes, citrus berries. Go. The hunt for citrus berries is over. Now I'll just plant some and it'll be fine. There we go. Now... Leftovers. I'm gonna give it to Cass. Okay. Let me just kinda scooch on by. Nope. I'll tell you what I could've encountered here, though. Wow, it's not bad. It gets bone ring early. If it... I don't know if it still has it, though. I wish I had like Mega Drain or something, but you know, since like Gloom gets all the powders at once, and I'm pretty sure it lands like at 25. Would have been very helpful. At least I'm pretty sure this crocodile doesn't have Ice Fang. Honestly, doubt it's gonna use Rage again. These computers typically aren't that smart. Yep. <clears throat> you guys know that like Totodile is really like the best choice for a non-glitch Gen 2 speed run. Cause like whenever it gets rage is perfect for fighting like Bugsy's gym. Like I was watching someone do a uh, like a three hour playthrough and they just blew through it with like just a coded aisle basically. That's really annoying. That's really really annoying. And I wish you'd stop. These casts will be really helpful for uh, catching stuff. I actually kind of just want to go do that now. Nope. Um. I feel like over this way there's something. I think I hit nine of there. I think that's the second red fluid I have. All right, let me let me jump over here to the uh, question of the day while I'm just finding some trainers here. I'm glad I didn't, I'm glad I didn't get that. What might have did it with imposter though? Man. There we go. Okay, so question of the day. If you knew that you only had one year left to live, what would you do? Now, first thing my mind gets to is travel. I'd want to, like, travel and see, like, the world. I want to know what I've been, like, missing out on. I don't feel like this is here for no reason. Well, that's dumb. Um, but yeah, I'd really want to travel. I, I want to see like all these, um, I want to see like the seven wonders of the world. I just want to go out and see everything. And I feel like that basically take a year and I could just die doing something that I love doing. Like I'll just die on the plane. I'd be fine with that. It just sounds like something I'd really enjoy doing is just traveling.
But, anyways, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would do. Oh, I definitely do like that uh, squirrel flight suit thing. Do that and skydiving. They're kind of similar, but I feel like they'd uh, give you similar rushes. Probably become an adrenaline junkie. Honestly. I find it kind of weird that acid hits both Pokemon double battles. Siri has really been helping out with this training. The only thing that helped more is if I grabbed an experience share and actually... What? I think that's how that works. I don't know if it actually give more though. Pretty sure it'd give the same amount. This training is going really well, and I'm um, enjoying this game. Ooh. I can't remember it. Oh. That kind of sucks. For some reason, I was thinking of, like, taunt. And that I couldn't um, use non attacking moves, which I was like, okay, that's fine. Am I still subject to taunt after uh, Nuzleaf dies, though? I'm sorry, faints. Faints. Ooh. I really wish I had a grass type move. Okay, that kind of answers my question. I... Okay, that's cool. Is Starry water psychic? I I can't remember. That went really well. Anyways, something in the comment section down below. If you had a one year left of your life, what would you do with it? Like, I actually want these berries. No, not really. I think these are all like Poke Block berries, so I'm just gonna leave them. Can I run? I can. It's hidden item. I found the hidden escape rope. Quick, let me escape from this behind the house area. Hold the. Oh. Oh, thank you. I think these are all the berries just growing outside. Ooh, now I have a yellow shard to match that green shard. Oh, wait, I threw that away. Darn. Okay, Absalom Voltex. You really... I just have to appreciate Combuskin. I just can't deny how good it is. Oh darn. 
You did in prison? I don't know why you'd use in prison. I feel like it'd more likely use like Will O Wisp or something. Actually, I had nothing to be afraid of. It had very interesting names. I don't know if you guys caught that. Like Miu and y Yuki, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm just thinking like weird senses, and that's just what I saw. Oh, that's cool. I guess I had Lukia over here. And I might die right now, because I made a bad choice. Um, just the fact that it's Lugia, I'm going to switch out into fat. And try to run. That, that works too. Thank you. Oh, I forgot about this guy. So our time is running a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to, so what I'm going to say is, is that we'll probably make it to the Weather Institute, and then we'll do that in the Arrival Battle in the next episode. Pretty sure that's, that's not very effective on me. Right? Nope, that's... Okay, I really would like Agron to go to sleep now. And they keep missing. Okay, that works. I like to have my moves a very certain way. What did you use? Oh. Alright, I guess everyone's gonna get some experience here. I can just not hit sleep moves apparently in this Agron. Seriously, can you just... Why can I not hit these moves? I don't understand. That does absolutely nothing. So frustrating. Okay, I think Fat's got this. There we go. That was so stupid. Why'd you have to roar so much? Ooh, everyone get XP. This Agron stupid just roars all the time. There we go. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. So I could probably kill. And that does nothing. So what? I'll try to throw a ball. Um let's throw a repeat ball at it.
Okay. It lives in complex rocks formations on the ocean floor and traps its prey using its 80 tentacles. Its red orbs glow when it grows excited or gets agitated. Okay. So tentacle's name will be... Barbara. Continue making our way. We're just gonna keep making our way. Cause. Cool. More citrus berries. The dugong's gonna be fine. That's gonna have all the berries that she could want. Okay. Um. Honestly, I kind of want to go back and fight these trainers because I am trying to raise up two new mon be really good for me to actually get some experience. This should be easy. And uh, Rock resist poison, I gotta remember that. I mean, it doesn't help the uh, poison's physical in this game, but... Basically getting free healing off this thing. I definitely need this XP. Okay, let's see what else I can get here. That's another tentacle. No, oh, actually, I won't be able to run from it either. Actually, it's a good level. I have enough psychics, I can take it on. That leftovers animation takes so long. I hope that'll do less than uh, acid. Yeah, a little bit. Alright, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make my way to the. Um, Weather Institute, because I want to have access to the bed. Because my PP on Psychic is running a little bit low, and I am confused now. Alright, come on, Cass, you got this. Just hit through it. There you go. Easy. Oh. 
Okay. Let's just run up here. Okay. So I think it's like her and like maybe one or two other trainers. Just have you go to sleep. Jeez. Okay, that does alright damage. Honestly, leftovers is kind of annoying. Like, I feel like that just takes so much time out of the battle just so I can shake a little bit and shine. Oh man, it leered me. Oh man, it's gonna headbutt me. That's actually just kind of scary though. Cause Shogun does have really good attack. All right, I mean, it ended up wasting its turn. Oh, crud. Okay then, it's time to switch out. I really did not think they'd pull out a full restore. So let's just end it now. There we go. Kind of wish I could do a nice type move to uh, cast there. That's oh, just a Magby. It's gonna have Ember, but like it, it's fine. Plus fire punch. Dang. I don't want to take that risk. I did way more than I thought I would. Magby's fast. There we go. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. And... What I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna go ahead and grind out the trainers on this route and in the next episode we'll take on the weather institute and we'll do our rival battle with may which will take us all the way to four tree city all right if you guys have enjoyed this episode please like and subscribe if you wish to know when these videos go up i will link my twitter in the description down below and remember an apple a day keeps the doctor away so please have a pair